In this video, we are going to look at how to import our backpack file, which is a data tire application package used primarily for Microsoft SQL Server environments. And it's really compressed because it contains a schema for SQL database and de the data contained within the database. What we did is we exported our production environment so we did a production export into sql server and were, uh, okay into an azure storage account and we are able to get this backpack file so the first one that we exported uh, on the previous video was the production exports um w uh, when we keyed in the uri for the shared access signature Automatically, the system was able to export the database because our database there is really demonstration and so small. So we are able to get the production exports. And I, yes, I recently did one that gave, gave me this ADB export. And what we need to do here is sort of just download. Download this uh, backpack file. And uh, how do we download it? By opening it. Then we can go to this icon and then download. So this is an easy procedure to just download the file and have it um, available for you to be able to use in terms of importing. And we are having a data tire application that is platform independent and it can be imported into different versions of SQL Server, including Azure SQL database. And also we can import it in SSMS or SQL Server Management Studio. I tried this in SQL Server 2014, but it didn't work well as I thought it would. So I'd prefer you to be at least on the latest. I'm using evaluation version of SQL Server 2022. And uh, when I'm here, the key feature that you should make sure, look at the screen, make sure that you do have the um, full text and semantic extractions for such as a feature installed while you are installing this evaluation edition or your sql server if not installed then you can do a feature addition by running the setup again and adding that feature on top of it so a data tire application which is really compressed for us and now we need to just import it after it's downloaded and it's so easy you just go to the databases and then you sort of just say import data tire application so when you import your data tire application it gives you the option to say of course the import wizard will um, import the contents of a backpack file and to the database so to import you specify the back fi the file to import the import settings the import summary and then you check the results as easy as that so the next thing is to browse for the local disk to get the backpack file its location and then you just click next and then here this name is already used um we can just append something if you need to change the data file path and the log file path at times people say that oh my i want my log file to be different in a different disk from the data file path then you can do that change then you go to the summary then you finish then you create your database on target you uh or more or less done in those simple steps and once the importation is done because i've already done it you'll be able to have your database and make sure there are no errors because be sure to monitor the errors you'll have the database already uh, coming here and uh, this is our production export from business central we have it now locally and uh, in case we need to connect it to a local instance of sql server for that case it means we need to now be able to download sql server locally no to download the same version of navision as the one on the production and then connect this database to our local instance a lot of work if you already have the online version why not use it the way it is but at least we can be able to import for those uh, people who are saying my local requirement in as much as i have a cloud storage i need to always have a copy of my data periodically i need to have it on my local machine where i can say this is a copy of my data so that's how you do it you'll be able to store this data in a good way and here is a list of the customers as an example with similar to what we have in the online version of the database so that's it for this video
I will see you in the next video. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like, subscribe, and ring the notification bell so that you don't miss the next one.